What is up everyone, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics, coming to you with another unboxing. So we have a package here from Cody Brown, um, someone, another fellow hobbyist that I met on USA Freshwater Shrimp and Plants Facebook group. So I will be unboxing this package. Oh. And it looks real nice already. So I was looking for some blue jelly neos. And I figured um, I might as well get some uh, cherries and some yellows as well to save on shipping. Since I uh, lost a bunch of my colonies. I haven't done a video on that yet. Um, but I will to update you guys. Um, but something got into my auto top off water and I lost a bunch of colonies. So pretty much all of my neos except for my blue dreams. So I am uh, restocking on my neos, but it looks like uh, Corey sent us some nice shrimp food um, and some Indian almond leaves. Let's see what we got as far as food. Thank you for these leaves, they're always coming handy. Oh, so it looks like homemade shrimp food from uh, Corey, my own recipe there. Looks a lot like uh, Roma Aquatics Shrimp Nola. Let me grab a shrimp Nola. Here's a Chris Roma Roma Aquatics Shrimp Nola. Pretty similar looking there. So. So we obviously have the same taste in uh, shrimp food. <laughs> no pun intended. That's funny. Uh, we also have some barley bits, um, some snowflake, cool sticker. Stickers are always welcome. Super cool sticker. So platinum aqua. So like I said, he is not really a business. He is a hobby, but who knows how it would go, right? So we have a bunch of this stuff, which sucks to deal with but i am okay with dealing with it because it's really good insulation uh, it's actually what i use when i ship even though it's annoying to deal with it's what's my opinion it's what's best for the shrimp to get there safely let's see what's in behind curtain number one We got some purigen, a little bit of moss in there, which is awesome. And these are the cherry shrimp looking nice and red. Nice and red looking. We'll get better shots when these are in there in the acclimation chamber. Um, it looks like they are all alive. Let me just pull up, get a closer look. Yep, I do not see any DOA in that bag. Nice. Thank you, curtain number one. Let's put that off to the side for now. Ooh, and there's even like a little separator. So there was this, this packaging is very nice. So you separate, there's like a little divider there so that these didn't, you know, slam down and slam around in shipping, which it probably wouldn't have anyway, in my opinion, because of all this is nicely tightly packed. It would hold it in place, but yeah can't hurt it's a nice little bonus nice little tuck shows you put the extra time into your package which is very nice which is why i love buying from hobbyists because they always seem to put that extra little time and attention into the shipping because they actually have the time for it they're not going crazy just trying to get orders out the door oh these look like the blue jellies they have a nice blue to them so the blue dreams have a night like a deep dark dark thick blue to them these guys is more of a translucent see-through blue um, it just pops on a black substrate uh, if I remember at this point in the video I will insert some of my last blue jelly colony that I had uh, or you could search for the video there's an unboxing video with them but they are just gorgeous gorgeous um, some of my favorite neos are these blue jellies so and it looks like they are all alive and happy as well. No DOA on them. And now for curtain number three. Let's see if we can go for three for three. I think we will. It's just water. It's cold, but it's not ice cold. It's 
still a nice decent temperature. And here's the yellows. So these have the golden back gene. I'm not sure if that was sent all golden backs that already have the stripe or if they just have the gene. We'll see once we unbox them, but I already see a couple that have the stripe on them. So that makes me happy. And again, they all look to be healthy and happy. Purigen, a little bit of a, looks like Christmas moss maybe, which is one of my favorites. So happy about that. And again, if you work with this stuff and you know, you don't make, it's almost impossible not to make a mess. But if you work, go slow and you're careful, you know, it's not too bad. I didn't make too much of a mess. Got a little bit over here, but not too bad. I kept most of it in the box. So I'm going to get these guys in their acclimation containers and then we'll get some close-ups.